So many of our youth are glued to the television chasing American dreams. Tell me we go dream for Africa. So many of our youth are glued to the television, living in a stereotype. Anana. Now that song is by Shum and Nicola Kokuti. <laughs> One of the songs I really love. Because it actually conscientizes. Now, the topic we are discussing is how Nigerians are actually losing their own space, busy chasing the foreign dreams. While the foreigners that you are going into their own space are happy that you are leaving your own space for them to come and occupy, all right? Aha. And um, let me quickly read something to you. I'm going to display to you also for you to see. Somebody posted the following on Facebook, and I'm going to read quickly to you and let us use it to have a conversation. Russia is to build a rail track for Nigeria. I hope you're taking note of this. China is to build roads and bridges for Nigeria. How many countries have you mentioned so far? India is to import rolling stock to Nigeria and help Nigeria with its ICT development. Let me take off the logos now. Germany is to build new power plants in Nigeria. US is to provide vaccines to Nigeria. UNDP is to provide giants or sorry grants to Nigerian farmers and improved seedlings in order to improve seedlings. Let me move on to the next page. Bill and Melinda Foundation uh, is to provide malaria vaccines to Nigeria. Turkey is to build garment factory in Nigeria. England is to build new oil terminal in Niger Delta region to help Nigeria mine its oil and so on. And then the person ended with, what is the importance of our education in this country since we cannot use it to solve our own problems, best to rely on foreigners. It doesn't end there. Now, Tokwe Faswa is a name that I should not begin to reintroduce. Tokwe Faswa was the presidential candidate of the ANRP in the 2019 election. He then added his own to what I just read now. Let's go on. He said, Hungary, or if you like, Hungary, is to loan us $55 million to fix portable water. UNESCO is to help us eradicate open defecation. <laughs> UK is to help us fight Boko Haram. Jamaica is to help us train and track our field youngsters. Brazil is to help us with breed of cows. Argentina is to help with grass to feed cows. World Bank is to loan us $3 billion to fix our power. Siemens to help us build Mambila power. General Electric is to help us fix transmission. Pakistan is to help us train our military. Again, back to India to help us buy our Hoyel, as our Yubo brothers will call it. Australia is to help us with scholarship for our young ones. I shortened it. There are more than that. Now, what's the point? I know many people are already online, so let me allow the, the, the comments display on the background. Now, let me go ahead and give my response to this, and then I'll do a few comments. It's a short broadcast, too. So, now, the first question arising is, what are Nigerian graduates packaged to do, or what are they prepared for from school? Now, if all of these things are coming, that's number two question. If all of these helps are coming from grants, aid, help, support from abroad, from all the way, everywhere abroad, what is Nigeria doing for itself, at least? At least they helped us with religion. We killed our own. They gave us new language. We killed our own. They gave us a new way to dress. We are killing our own textile fabric, and the rest of them industry. 
they have given us everything what are we going to help ourselves with and what are we giving in return other than for us to allow them to take our resources and come and occupy our land what are we doing in return so that at least we can be useful okay those are questions arising but then let me go on to make a few comments also outside of the questions you see I have said this over and again while Nigerians believe that the only way to make it is to escape from this country as you are escaping you are leaving your land what are you going out to do you are going to help them chase the American dream chase the European dream you are helping them build the American dream you are helping foreigners build the European dream as a result we have no one to build the Nigerian dream no one to build the African dream and as you are leaving you are vacating all of these people that are coming to help you build hospital this one that is coming to help you build road the other one that is coming to help you give you electricity the other one that is coming to say they want to help you with security all of them are taking your space one by one because they are taking something in return they are taking your resources in return for all these aids or helps now if you go abroad because you want to escape SARS harassment because you want to escape soldier checking your ID card on the road because you want to escape insanity in PDP and APC because you want to escape everything that is hard about this country by the time you leave and you go excuse me by the time you spend 10 20 years you start having kids or whatever over there let me tell you a few things that will happen number one your children will have black skin but be, um, they will grow up among the white they will not have your language they will not have your culture in fact they will even reject your name somebody spoke with me from abroad yesterday and told me that his daughter is already looking like them but that as she's growing up he himself is realizing that they are beginning to discriminate that no no you have a black skin you are different from us the baby does not the child does not realize it yet but the child is already rejecting the Yoruba name the father gave her so she will say daddy you know what I'm gonna be that Yoruba name when you and I are together but when I'm with my friends I'm just gonna bear the name that I want to bear here because I'm ashamed the name you gave me people laugh at me when I call the name I'm having to defend the meaning of the name over and again that I don't even understand the meaning <laughs> do you know what it means let's take 20 years from now those children we start seeing that there's discrimination no matter how good that system is that space is how welcoming and accommodating it is reality is that the system has a way of letting them know that they don't belong originally there by the time those people want to come back home there will be no space left for them it would have been taken over reading by the Chinese the Lebanese all of those people that are coming to help you do this do that give you security give you electricity they are taking your space gradually and you that you are there you are not chasing your own dream you are you think you are doing well for yourself as an individualism that I've always talked to you about that we should stop thinking about individualism it, it has never led anybody anywhere I don't like to mention this but I'm already sad tonight one story broke tonight about a good person buried in Canada and the family in Nigeria are not happy that he's buried in Canada I don't want to go into details because I don't believe I don't even I don't like the idea that that person's story will end with that kind of scandal the person himself did not like to be buried there but he already naturalized he already naturalized in Canada now by the time those children want to come back home there will be no space and they are using you to build their own dreams there not your own dream not your own dream 
this person asking me the question whether I would choose Evan or Viola, the question back to you is, did Evan create itself? Because I understand you are using Evan as a metaphor of abroad. The people fought for their own abroad and they built it. The kind of education and curriculum we, in, we have in Nigeria is such that it will not be useful for Nigeria. The curriculum they built for us, the European system created for us, is not to build our system. You are preparing us, our lecturers are teaching us and preparing us to be useful to the out. That is why if you don't travel outside of this country, you cannot be useful ultimately or optimally until you travel abroad. And by the time you get abroad, you become, you realize that, wow, I'm, I'm this good and my country did not show you that I'm this good. Because the system in Nigeria is not built, the, the curriculum that they used to teach you in Nigeria is not built to make you useful to Nigeria. In public administration studies, we call it bureaucracy versus development. The kind of education we have in Nigeria is bureaucratic. It is such that it teaches you how not to be creative, but how to be cocooned or how to be conditioned to maintaining status quo. The status quo does not even exist here. The status quo is the status quo of the Europe, of the of the Americans. They are teaching you standards, they'll teach you APA style, they'll teach you this style, that style, they'll teach you all sorts of things that are not present here systems that exist, institutions that exist, but not here. So that even if you manage to apply it, it will not be really useful. Until you go out there and apply it, and then they will now say, ah, Nigerian doctors are the best. But they are not good here. They are not good enough here in Nigeria. Why? Because the institutions for which they package your education does not exist here. It exists abroad. So until you fly or escape Nigeria, you are not going to make it. And when you start making it abroad, you are building the abroad for that. You are not building your whole country. By the time you realize that you are only building abroad, you want to come back home and do something for your, for your own country, it is late. They would have claimed all your space before you come back. And why do I say, why do I keep emphasizing collectivism over individualism? Why do I keep saying, build your country over interest in the self? It is because of your children. Okay, by the time you are old and unable to do anything any further, all your children are abroad. They are afraid of coming back home because of kidnapping, because of uh, the, the fear of witches and wizards because of the fear of soldiers harassing them, because of the fear of SARS, because of the fear of kidnappers and fraud stars, yao boys, because of the fear of everything, including bad road, darkness, absence of electricity and the rest of them. By the time they eventually want to come back, they will be too afraid. And there will already be discrimination against them there, where you give birth to them because they don't belong there originally. And no matter how much accommodating the system is, the discrimination will show at some time later in the future. And that is the reason people who are already tired of spending all their lives abroad want to come back home. And when they want to come back home, they realize that they have to fight for this country to be better before they can relocate their own families. Examples of the show rest and other people who left their comfort to come and fight back home that this country has to be better for us. We have to chase all those crazy bodies out of town. But guess what? Instead of us to all support them, they are still believing me, I'm still making it. Me, I'm having money abroad. Me, I'm, I'm, I'm going abroad. Forget you, fuck you, this or that. Eh? Hey. I have news for you. What Shogre is fighting for is fighting for a better future for his own children. He wants to relocate them to Nigeria. But he wants the country to be better first of all. The children are afraid of Nigeria. That dream, he wants to extend it to everybody so that your own children too that are relocating, that are dreaming of going abroad, or you that is already abroad, or your children that are abroad, he wants all of them to be able to come safely back home. 
that is the dream of Shore for asking for a revolution for Nigeria. Revolution means complete turn around of the system, change it back to what it should be, so that it works. Nigeria can work for Nigerians. But in that, instead of Shore to get support, what are you guys doing? You are praising Buhari. You are praising everybody who are putting Shore in jail. You are praising. You are saying Shore should rot in jail. Put him in detention. Keep him more. Let him rot there. Eh? The news is, if Shore's dream for a better future for his children and your own children, if that dream is, does not happen, at least your own dream will happen. And what is your dream? If we ask, by the way, the dream of your children should be abroad building their foreign dreams all right and by the time your children realize it the nigerian entire space has already been overridden you can come back all right so you are neither birds of of the hair nor fowls of the earth you are just in between you have no space to settle continue doing what you are doing all of us will be happy at the end of the day Shabi, thank you let me take comments <sighs> Solutions say Nigerians do not need to return. Okay, I agree with you. Anything you see, trust me, I agree. Mark Stoney says our politicians are schooling abroad with our limited resources. Bro, we should talk about changing our government. Say what you know because our children here aren't worried about anything. Let's children wake up before it's too late for them over there. Okay. Africa does what I say. Those who praise Buhari, sorry, I missed that. Solution say develop yourselves outside and if possible, invest. Okay, me personally, I like, like your idea. Idea D. Sarah Jodu, good evening, Uncle Shagun. Auntie Sarah, you're welcome, man. I did joy say I supported him. Solution say, eh, 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 eh. Fasha King. Judiciary and legislative are caged by executive. No hope. Nigerians catch themselves too. Have you seen people def defending defending something that doesn't make sense by the government? You haven't seen. Well, I go online. Thank you, Sarah Ojudun. Um, Nora says, I was born in Nigeria and I'm supposed to be in Nigeria to see my parents, but I can't because of what's going on. I can't get to worry to see my family. Can you imagine? <sighs> Nathaniel say a little lab boy simioko, but that is when you have a little come back to. How about when there is none? Helen says she is very right. We just on the air. Yeah, Nigerians are bats. What you about to call are done. You you neither birds of the hair of the hair, nor fowls of the earth. You're just hanging midways. Bright or sound say not just fighting themselves. We let have what they want. Hmm. Solution says it's true, the orientation in Nigeria is bad. Public kitchen. What sh software are you using for your live stream? It's beautiful. Hope you don't mind sharing. Yeah, there are all sorts of software. I have several of them. I have Vmix, there's Nemo Live, and there is, um, uh, what's the name of the Wirecast? There's Wirecast. They all do um, apparently the same thing. It depends on how you know how to use each of them. Just master any of them. Nemo Live, Wirecast, VMix, and the rest of them. In fact, there's OBS too, yes. Open Broadcast Software, OBS. Mm. What is the condition of Shure now, Shegun? Well, Shure is in detention, and then the matter is coming up again a few days to now, this November. Today is what day now? Third. Okay, now that three or four days, the trial will be coming up. But then the legal team, uh, the legal team is working to see if they can secure, if to if they can perfect the bill so that at least it can be going from uh, anywhere in Abuja to the trial. So let's see how it goes. This week there should be news after all. That's what what I know. Uh, good evening. Yeah, you're welcome, Osama Cletus. This is why some people are afraid to, of getting married and making children abroad, and that's also. Uh, reminds me of another point I should have made. The point is that the reality is, even if you marry 
a foreigner abroad even if you marry a foreigner abroad if there is crisis at any time divorce is cheap oh, for women divorce is as cheap as like they are they are just buying bread if you marry a foreigner abroad let me tell you hmm, if there is crisis she wants comfort first of all and it is only a country that can give her that comfort so she will deny you instantly and stick to her nationality first of all before anything do you know the rate of divorce in a, you know, abroad now the rate of divorce is as cheap as you are buying pure water so if anything i'm not this is not a so seed of discourse between people who are married to foreigners but it's just to see let us start looking at our home our home front if anything happens between you and your wife abroad your foreigner wife our loyalty first of all is to our country is to our nationality because that is the only thing that can guarantee our safety and comfort you are secondary i will not deceive you you are secondary our country and nationality our comfort our safety our patriotism is is number one you are secondary as the husband she can divorce you any moment all right that's what i'll say i watched the video you posted earlier on what's the position of shenwonik bd i should say shenwonik bd this week i mean this new week we are entering and then i'll bring you full video so that he can express himself what he has to say solution say as in us the man will pray for child hmm. Nigeria is shido. I'm afraid to come to Nigeria because no light, no security. Dead everywhere. Nigeria needs revolution now. Fola asked me to stop saying something. Well, all the. I know it won't go down well with everybody, but sometimes, occasionally, we just have to tell ourselves the own truth. You know, all this. Only a jail come and marriage. Kinshati, Lowo, Ide Boomerang, he gets Ide Backfire. All those things they get are saying, what saying, but. You know, if they get outcome, you understand. Ahead, uh-huh. they get consequence. See, let me shall go out, but even if it's just to come and marry, if they get consequence. Some people are in jail. Did I just say that? Sorry. Nigeria, is, okay. Musa says, I'm here to build your lost. I hope I understand what that person. You are very right about mine, a foreigner. Suleiman says, Well. I don't know, but I'm just saying my own. Other hands say Nigerians are not really aware that what's going on around them. I came back from China. Guess what? The total passenger that is embarked. Oh, I missed that. I'm so sorry. Can you repeat it? Thank you, Idasa. Idada Festus. Uh, is there no divorce in Nigeria? Eh, there is now. But the consequence of divorce in Nigeria versus the consequence of divorce. <laughs> Anyways, let, let me not go into details. If we conclude that she raise the solution, what are plan Nigerians? All of us have to give ourselves brain. Give the number to those where you give. I don't understand what that means. Thank you, Monday. Nice program, yes. Can someone tell me what is the Nigerian dream? Ah, we don't abandon them. We don't leave them. The question, first of all, is what is the American dream? And we have to place them in sectors what is the american economic dream what is the american superiority dream what is the american you know religious dream what is the american cultural dream transfer all of those to the african narrow it down to nigerian you will understand you will know what your dream is or is supposed to be all right the, the the dream of the foreign colonialists is to colonize everybody around the world and they already deal with africa i'm speaking with you my own brothers not in Igbo, not in Hausa, not in yoruba <laughs> and it even got to the point where some people will not even like what i'm saying because not because they don't like the content but because i'm not speaking in phonetics as in my phone no tick <laughs> i'm not speaking in tick phone phone that is tick my phone is not tick you will not still like it 
they prefer all those fake fake people fake oaps on on instagram twitter on tv on radio they prefer fake 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 things they are chasing the fake dreams of foreigners do you understand it <laughs> so elizabeth i've seen many opportunities i did not go i will go but i don't want to go and start all over again let me build my dream here if i have to visit i will just visit as part visiting you know i can go stay for your ah those that are traveling abroad they're already tired most many of them want to come back home but they are just they just just they just don't know how to but the reality is that you really you know yes they will even convince you and make you accept that you are inferior did you just read that they will even convince you and you will accept that you are inferior <laughs> and that is why through the religion that they gave to us the angel is white and superior the devil that we know nothing about is supposed to be black have two horns and speak your and black and look like you angel will look white satan will look black where is satan in our own african culture we don't we didn't we did not have satan we did not check your movies check your gospel you know missionary movies christian movies you will see if they want to depict an angel it will be white if they want to depict the devil or satan it will be black whereas they said they told us in the bible that satan is lucifer lucifer is a very fine guy good voice radiating glory and all of those bullshit sorry all of those good things <laughs> but when they want to depict it in movie they make it look like you or the way you depict your own local god they'll say oh that is the devil but when they want to show the angel it will look white <laughs> like the white man but it's satan that you know nothing about satan we do not have satan in our culture but he told us that it is what we have that is the Satan. We are not the ones that wrote the Bible. Though. Samuel Ajayi Krada only translated it to Yoruba language and if you will. Now, but the people who but the people who wrote the Bible by themselves already made us understand that Satan was thrown to the earth. We did not have Satan. It was still them that had Satan and knew what Satan came to do on earth and was dealing with them before they came to Africa. And we're looking for something to, you know, to depict Satan to us. They were now trying to portray your own local gods as the Satan. <laughs> but anytime they want to depict the angel, it will be a white man. They made you accept it. <laughs> My God. And that's why you have to question a lot of things. When they interpreted Satan, you know, to Yoruba language, they interpreted Satan as Eshu. But those that know the story of Eshu will tell you that Eshu was not thrown from heaven down to earth. Eshu is just like every other deity, like Shango, Ogun, and the rest of them, that some people, some clans worship. Do you understand it? Some clans worship Eshu as a deity. So where is the idea that the Satan that they have suddenly became the issue that they now wanted to paint devil as when they came to Africa to colonize Africa? Just to make you hate your own and make you accept their own. <laughs> it's, it's, it's still the same thing. They are using us to build the foreign dreams. And the only definition of somebody is making it is when they travel to foreign land. To go and help build the foreign dream and as you are vacating they are coming in to come and take over your space oh boy nigeria to do good man africa to anyways he said something that made sense to me last month he said nigeria has no economy it is the money being sent home by the that that is keeping nigeria going absolutely what are we making in nigeria what is Nigeria producing? 
everything that we, we consume in Africa is from ah did you not hear that one of the countries is even helping us by giving us new breeds of cows even the cow that we are supposed to be producing we are importing new breed of cows we don't have cows anymore <laughs> ah boy oh she yeah you would be serious for once you, you all will be serious for once yeah everybody will get serious share this video let people let us all start learning let's start coming to our back to our senses back home to our senses kilon shewa men you see all, all sort of people that we the graduates we are producing here in nigeria we are not producing graduates that will be useful to nigeria we are producing graduates that will be here temporarily will be useless until they travel abroad to go and be useful to the American dream, to the European dream, to build the European economy, to build the American dream. That's what we are, that's what they are preparing us for. You know. The typical Nigerian are not ready for positive change at all. That's the reason why you can see they are not supporting our relationship. Already. It's it's pathetic. By the time they will realize, you will probably be, be late. You know, it will probably be late. Some of them will be old; they can't do anything again, and their children are abroad. Their children cannot even come back home. Due to they are tired of abroad, but they are afraid of coming back home. They will not be begging, please don't bury me here. Go and bury me at home. And the children will be like, who do we send you to at home? <laughs> who do we send your corpse to at home? You know. All sort of bullshit. Anyways, I don't want to let this. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to let this book out be too long. But the the bottom line is, please, everybody, eh? Let's come back to our sense. Let's come back to us. Let's all start looking for African solutions to African problems. Let's stop chasing the foreign dreams. Let's start looking for African solutions. So African problems and let's start creating those solutions for ourselves. Thank you so much and God bless you. I want to take this moment to also appreciate um, those of you who already started sending in your support this month. For one person that sent in their support this month for this channel, you know, some people already committed or pledged to be supporting this channel every month. Um, one person and said, I should please not. One person said I should please not mention her name, but you know yourself. Thank you so much, madam. Uh, she sent in something today, and she said I should not mention her name. Thank you so much, you know yourself. But at the end of the week, at the end of every week, I want to try and be appreciating people. I will code your name in such a way that you will know I'm talking about you, but I will not mention your name. If, but if you don't mind me mentioning your name, send in your support, but ensure that you put it in the reference anonymous. So that I will know that you don't want to be mentioned. All right, thank you so much, everybody. So those of you who pledge support to this channel every month, we're expecting today's thought. Oh yeah, start sending your support because we have projects to do, a lot of projects to do, and you start seeing them very soon already. Thank you so much, everybody. We have to start going on the streets, start going to schools. We have to start reorientating people a lot. It's not, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be cheap. It's going to be risky. It's going to be tough. It's going to be uh, something that takes resilience. It's going to be something that requires everybody to be on board. I'm going to be driving. I'm going to be taking you with me uh, because we endeavor to be making them uh, live casts every time so that we we'll get everybody on board to be coming along with us. I want to thank you again, everybody, for your support and then. Um, I appreciate all of you. I celebrate you all. Uh, the family is growing bigger every day, right? So share this video. Recommend this channel to people. Let's start reorientating ourselves. I thank you once again, everybody. For those that are always asking, oh, what is the account number to support? What is the WhatsApp number to reach you? That's it on your screen once again. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. And then we'll get to continue to. Yes, uh, somebody asked about Shewonik Bidin earlier. She only be there and I have um, we have a plan or appointment to meet sometime this week. I'll endeavor to make the live stream so that at least people can join 
in the com live conversation so that we can talk about what has to be talked about. Shemone Bidi believes that activists have to join the existing structure to disrupt it from inside. Uh, he also believes that yes, Shore's approach, disrupting it from the outside, is also useful, but that one would be easier or handy than the other. Whichever one is, uh, let's just try and see. We'll hear from Shemone Bidi sometime this week. Just stay tuned. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do. If you are subscribed to this channel, but you're not, um, you have not clicked on the notification bell, please do. Uh, also, don't forget to join us also on Instagram. There are some things we share on Instagram that we cannot share on YouTube uh, because they're educating, but they are not directly our own content. So follow us on Instagram, as you can see on your screen right now. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on all social media platforms, including Facebook has lifted their ban on us. Mm, da, 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 da. You know, the arbitrary people there. Then, um, what more am I supposed to say before I close this uh, show tonight? Um, invite more people to this channel. All right. So thank you so much. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Bye for now. So far, on the door, free us, uh -huh. free us, uh -huh. free us, 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 then they say I be Satan, Satan, Satan. Cause I believe I be winner, winner, winner. Stop calling me a sinner, a sinner, sinner. If you truly believe in the church, oh, as I don't want to know. If you really believe in the Moscow, me, I don't want to know. If you believe in the past, also, as I don't want to know. If you believe in any in mammal, me, I don't want to know. Make you shine your eyes, uh huh. And free yourself, oh, no, no, no. Make you shine your eyes, uh huh. And free yourself, free yourself from mental slavery. Make you shine your eyes, uh huh. And free yourself, oh, 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 oh. Make you shine your eyes, uh huh. And free yourself, free yourself from mental slavery. Listen now. Oh, you both come deceive us, deceive us, deceive us. Then come bring that Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Even the story about Jacob, my ancestors make you save us. My people make on a wake up, wake up, wake up. If you truly believe in the church, oh, as I don't want to know. If you really believe in the Moscow, me, I don't want to know. Shine your eyes.